750cc F1 class. This is the situation after round four at Knock Hill. Terry Reimer on the Yamaha, a healthy lead on 37 points. Nearest challenger, Brian Morrison on 29. Then it's Steve Spray, last year's champion on the Norton. Rob McElnay, the Yamaha man again, Reimer's teammate. Then Trevor Nation, the other Norton rider. And Jamie Whittam on another Honda in sixth place. Across the front row, the top and fastest five having stormed round, comprising Rob McElnay on the far side, Terry Reimer's teammate, Reimer the pole position man, Trevor Nation on the Norton, Roger Burnett on the Suzuki after a week's holiday, fully refreshed and raring to go. Then it's Steve Williams from Wales, and as I said, Terry Reimer, the fastest man around in pole position. Rob McElney, the burly humper cider, 30 years of age, Rob Mack, a former Grand Prix campaigner, having lost his ride on the Grand Prix scene, has adapted to the big four-stroke machinery, ideally, and is proving to be a tremendous backstop for Terry Reimer, his younger teammate, who happens to be doing most of the winning in that particular team this year. Rob Mack from Humberside, alongside him, number five, formerly from Salisbury, now resident at Hinkley in Leicestershire, moved up there to be near the Norton factory, and of course the Mallory test circuit, Trevor Nation, very quick round here, Trevor Nation will be hoping to avenge the defeat he suffered at Donington at the hands of Terry Reimer, when the Black Norton expired in a cloud of steam and smoke just two weeks ago. In the middle of the bunch, Mick Grant's man, number nine, Roger Burnett on the Suzuki. Roger, a very experienced Grand Prix man in his day with the Honda team. Now the sole Suzuki rider with any degree of factory support in the UK. Mick Grant himself, a former very experienced rider as the team manager standing on the left of the picture. 31 from Wales, Steve Williams, not usually on the front row in this sort of company, but he has been delivering some good performances lately. It'll be interesting to see what Steve can do and whether in fact he can put that front row position to good use. 12 laps will be the distance of this race, 28.2 miles. Can Steve Williams hold the pace against this man and definitely the hot shot of the moment, Terry Reimer, 23 years of age, who had a brilliant double win in the support races at the Donington Grand Prix two weeks ago, telling the world at large that he desperately needs a 500cc Grand Prix ride. In the middle of the picture, Roger Burnett on the Suzuki, when the conditions were drier, gave us a very fast lap of Thruxton from the rider's eye view. from the start, first, second, third, first corner, Allard corner, it's taken him fourth gear on a flying lap, and up into fifth gear around this fast left hand turn, it was a very tight, Campbell Cobb Seagrave from the way. on the course this 55 60 miles an hour
as they complete the warm-up lap. I'm just interested to point out that the third place man in the championship, number 20, Steve Spray, only qualified in 22nd fastest place. He crashed here in April at 140 miles an hour with a wrist injury. Maybe that's got something to do with it. But there you have the front row. Teammate Trevor Nation is there, number five. Rob McElnay, Roger Burnett, Steve Williams, and pole position, Terry Reimer. Two miles, the 750s are all the way. The circuit this side appears to be dry, but we do understand that across the back end of the circuit there are still some wet patches. And let me at this moment just ask Steve Parrish, Steve, if the weather changes mid-race, what's the situation? Well, the, the riders will hope that the organisers will stop the race, and it's happened before where some of the leading riders will put their hands up and try and stop the race themselves, but uh, we've had problems here with the weather today, and I think the organisers will be very, very keen for this one to run through. They, most of the riders, all the front row except for Rob McAlea, are out on slick tyres front and rear. Rob has chosen the intermediate front, so we could see him setting a fairly early hot pace. There's Steve Spray on the Norton. Steve Spray from Gedling in Nottingham, third place in the championship. There's his teammate, Trevor Nation, number five. We're with him now. So Trevor Nation, now from Hinkley in Leicestershire, is in third place. But out in front already. It looks like the Yamaha of Terry Reimer streaking away. Terry Reimer's been having some super starts here at Thruxton, no exception. Yeah, so Terry said before the race that he was going to try and make that early break and he's certainly done it but Trevor Nation is trying to get away also Jamie Whitham in third spot up to the club chicane there's Trevor Nation on the lawn Jamie Whitham number 31 Steve Williams tucked in as well they're all safely through over the line Reimer Nation Whitham Williams then it's Steve Spray that's the way they go there's Steve Spray now third place in the championship sitting on 27 points the points 10 for the win nine for second for third and so on all the way down one point for 10th place Jamie Whitton from Huddersfield number 69 is it third place on the fall of there oh that's Rob McElnay by the look of it maybe not Rob McElnay number 19 the big humber cider Terry Reimer's teammate is off the Yamaha at the chicane so not good news no Rob had went for the intermediate tyre and the track is very very dry and it obviously wouldn't take the speed that he went in there you see of slow motion he comes into this corner he's got the front brake on hard now the front end just tips under down it goes and it high sides him over the handlebars we just lost that shot but luckily he's up and away but unfortunately for Rob McElhinney he seemed to have made the wrong tyre choice there Interesting situation already developing. Rob McElnay was sitting in fourth place on 17 points. So he will do nothing to add any points at all to that tally. This is round five of seven. The rounds remaining, Mallory Park and Donington. The sun coming out here at Thruxton and shining on the battle between Trevor Nation, Terry Reimer, Jamie Witter. There's Roger Burnett, number nine on the Suzuki. Roger, according to Mick Grant's team manager, has got himself psychologically right. The bike is now going better than it has been all season. So maybe Roger can deliver the goods on the Suzuki. Up goes the hand of John Reynolds. Number 16, John Reynolds, is retiring the Team Green Kawasaki. So Burnett in the thick of the action as the race goes on at the front of the pack. Number 26 there, Gary Weston. There's Roger Burnett on the Suzuki. So frantic stuff, Steve, on this, the second lap. Yeah, Roger is really going very well. He's had a bit of a lean season up until now, but as Mick said earlier, that he has got his head into gear and he seems to be riding the Suzuki very, very well. Not one of the fastest bikes out there, but it certainly looks to be handling good at the moment. But this is the battle. Terry Reimer and Trevor Nation right on his sights. As the pack streaks through, the glimpse there of Brian Morrison, number two from Kokodi. Brian Morrison had a stunning double win last week at Knock Hill at a national meeting. So a lot of talent here from all across the country. It's Morrison and Roger Burnett, two old stalwarts, two old campaigners who know each other's riding tactics very, very well indeed. And right ahead of them looks like number 26, Gary Weston. So Gary Weston going, well, there's Roger Burnett. So frantic action, Steve, already. Yeah, number one there, Mark Phillips, is having his best ride of the season also. He's one position in front of Roger Burnett. He's also had a very lean season. He likes his circuit here. His Yamaha is very fast, so uh, he's putting on a tremendous show here today. Mark Phillips, number one. 
race leader, number seven, Terry Reimer, with the rear wheel of the Yamaha hopping under braking as he nipped in to the right, the left, the right there. Exiting the right-hander, down towards the left-hander now of Noble. That will be next as the pack streams through. Roger Burnett having a super ride in seventh place. So the Suzuki now really going hard, but at the front, the first and second place men getting away. Third place now, it's Steve Spray fighting off a determined challenge from Jamie Witter, number 69. There's Roger Burnett again. So the Seoul Suzuki storming on, but having to work for a living. Ahead of him, Mark Phillips and Steve Williams. Gary Weston is now behind Burnett. So whilst the, the leading one, two or three get away, Steve, this pack in the middle are really scrapping for it. It really is anyone's race. Yeah, it looks as though they're lapping just as fast as the leaders, but they're actually in some ways holding themselves up at the moment it's mark phillips in front but anybody that didn't go for a slick tire here this afternoon as the sun comes out has, has big problems definitely the front two have got slicks on roger i believe has i'm not sure about mark phillips but at the moment this is an incredible battle here roger burnett leads the charge on the suzuki back over the start finish straight then it's mark phillips then it's williams then it's gary weston but at the front Trevor Nation has gone through on the inside of Terry Reimer who lifted his knee up over the tarmac there, the edge of the circuit. Trevor Nation has got the Norton in front. He was a little bit concerned about the machine's performance last night when we spoke to him, but certainly Norton have found a little bit more speed from somewhere. They've had to do that because the Yamaha has been so impressive. Spray's retired. Steve Spray, number 20, it's his turn to go out now. Trevor Nation still running, so the roles reversed. At Donington, it was Nation who went bang and Spray who carried on. But Spray's race is over, and so is his third place in the championship. And I have to say now that with Nation going the way he is, would Terry Reimer, and it's a bit of a hypothetical question, Steve, but would Terry Reimer have wanted him to go past at this stage in the race. Well, Terry hasn't got a big threat on from Trevor Nation. I was about to say that he'll probably sit behind him, but he's just gone up on the inside and passed him coming into the chicane. There's no real need to have a big battle here with Trevor Nation because he's only got to finish in the top four or five and he has the championship virtually sewn up with Steve Spray looking as though he tumbled off earlier on, who was one of his chief competitors and main rivals. Uh, he has a, such a commanding lead in the championship, he just needs to finish. But knowing Terry, he's out there going for it. The 23-year-old from South East London, Terry Reimer, has really had a brilliant year in 1990. He's been fighting all season for World Superbike honours, but has made it very clear that the Super Cup Series in the UK has been his main priority and has contested each and every round to great effect. His track record being a second, two wins and a third. Now, he's on target for what looks like another win here, but I'm not going to speak too soon because tempting fate appears to be something we're very good at. Uh, interestingly also, Terry Reimer's actually on his spare machine. As he's off to Japan for the World Superbike race next weekend, he's had to send his number one bike out there, but the spare machine looks to be doing the job quite nicely here today. Well, the machine in the lead, the Yamaha, a 750cc, four-cylinder, four-stroke machine. The bike in second place, the revolutionary and somewhat controversial rotary engine Norton, which has been in fairly popular use by Britain's police forces over the last two or three years, but the racing version of the Norton is certainly delivering the goods, and they have plans, I gather, Steve, to make some sort of entry into Grand Prix racing, if not in 1991, in 1992. That's right, Norton are very, very keen to get into World Championship racing. They'd have to build a smaller capacity engine, and as you say, the controversial Norton rotary engine is a, a very hard engine to measure, so at the moment there's a, a lot of controversy going on towards which class it will be allowed in, but it's, uh, it's proving to be very, very competitive now. Over halfway into the race, we are watching the battle for third and fourth place as a fast returning to form Jamie Whittam, number 69, from Huddersfield on the Honda, fends off a very determined challenge from Roger Burnett, number nine, on the Suzuki, the man who gave us that rider's eye view with the camera. The Suzuki has been extensively worked on, and if you look in the front of the fairing, what appears to be two large black eyes are in fact two very big air ducts. The Suzuki, Mick Grant tells me, loves cold air, and he's plunging the hoses through the first specs right down into the air box, 
so the machine breathes the very freshest and the very coolest atmosphere, but it wasn't enough for Roger Burnett to keep hold of that fourth place. He's been relegated now by Brian Morrison, who's having a go at Jamie Whittam. So number two, Brian Morrison is now in fourth place of scrapping hard. Burnett down to fifth. Brian Morrison from Kokodi, a double winner last week in his native Scotland at Knock Hill, has brought all that experience and talent and the confidence with him. Rides a Honda in the big races and a Yamaha in the 600cc class. Now, under his own team management, the Drambui Honda going well with Brian Morrison. Brian Morrison actually second in the championship. He'll be very keen to get past both Roger Burnett, who's repassed him, and Jamie Whittam. Uh, what is quite strange is that uh, Jamie Whittam rode the bike that Roger Burnett's on uh, last year, so they've kind of switched roles. Roger Burnett was with Honda last year and Jamie Whittam with Suzuki, so they're uh, checking each other's form out on opposite machines this season. There you see the top six, race leader and storming away Terry Reimer from Trevor Nation. Jamie Witter, Morrison and Burnett. Now that battle has changed the position since the caption went up because you're watching it now. Third place, 69, James Whittam. Fourth place, number nine, Roger Burnett from Lincolnshire. In fifth place, it's number two, the 30-year-old Scott, Brian Morrison. Then, in sixth place, it's Mark Phillips, number one. Seventh place, Gary Weston. So it all goes on. Jamie Whittam really going hard in third, but just look at Roger Burnett. This is indeed a spirited ride, and one of the best I've seen from Roger Burnett. Yeah, this is the best part of the race, undoubtedly. Brian Morris is not going to be at all happy there where he is in that position, but Terry Ryan is going to be very, very pleased to see him back down there because of the championship points. It's only going to spread this championship table open so that Terry has even more of a lead. But undoubtedly, Roger is having the ride of his ride of the year. Well, tagging himself on also in eighth place is Dave Redgate from Chatham in Kent. So Dave Redgate very much in the hunt as Burnett goes through to third. Roger Burnett on the Suzuki. So the race order, Yamaha leads, Norton in second, Suzuki third, and Whittam hasn't given up, he fights back. So Roger Burnett really having to duel with the 22-year-old youngster from Huddersfield. James Whittam was obliged to miss this meeting a year ago due to the ankle injury he sustained in the Ulster Grand Prix. And we never really, did we, Steve, see a return to form that we saw James Whittam and Brian Morrison give us in 1988. They never really cut it in 89. Unfortunately not. Jamie Whittam, a very promising young rider, and, and I, I stress young because he's got a great many years in front of him, and uh, I'm sure he'll be very keen to end the season on a high. It's extremely important for contracts for next year. The same applies to Roger Burnett at this point. It's very, very important to get the results towards the end of the year, so to secure a good machinery for the following. 30 years of age, Roger Burnett, number nine. A lot of 24-hour racing experience, very good, extremely reliable. He's not usually known for throwing it away. I hope today doesn't prove me wrong. He's in third now and charging hard, and he is one and a half, maybe two machine lengths now ahead of Jamie Whittam. They've dropped Brian Morrison away, and the rear wheel of the Suzuki locked up again under braking as down through the gearbox Roger Burnett went. So the slick tyres, Steve, were definitely the right choice. Yeah, you would have a real problem. In fact, I think any rider on anything but a slick would have had to have pulled in by now. Roger Burnett using the Dunlop tyres, Jamie Whittam on the Michelin tyres, and I know that Roger was here testing a few weeks ago with the Dunlop, so there's no problem whatsoever about his uh, tyre lasting the distance. Whether or not that will affect Jamie will be another matter. Well, let me just give you some statistical information. Terry Reimer has gone round at 121.55 the outright lap record here held by Steve Spray at 121.1 so Terry Reimer is really on the pace and it looks Steve as though a lap record just might be a possibility as Reimer leads Burnett is in third place and almost losing out to Jamie Whitton was on the inside line but no Roger Burnett closes the door uses all his experience just doesn't look ruffled at all nicely co under control through the club chicane as they head for the line once more Brian Morrison in fourth position. He's another person that's off to Japan tomorrow for the World Superbike race. So the last thing he needs to do is damage his machine or himself. That's being air freighted out tomorrow morning. So uh, that will be cased away this evening.
but Roger Burnett, uh, I have to keep speaking about him, it's great to see him back on form. A lot of travelling going on, of course, as Steve said, across to Japan for the Superbike race, and a lot of the riders here are also leaving at the close of the meeting tonight for Czechoslovakia for the Grand Prix. So we have Grand Prix runners here in the 125, the 250, and the sidecar class who will be very anxious to get on the boat for Czechoslovakia just as soon as they possibly can. Practice there will start on Thursday. They need to be in place, all settled, and the machines checked over for then. So a very hectic life. Steve, how long is the usual season for a top-line motorcyclist? Well, it's getting longer and longer year by year. At the moment, it usually starts in Daytona in America and uh, goes right the way through to Mexico in December. And it looks as though we have a missing Trevor Nation. He's dropping back. Trevor Nation is dropping back. So it's just a bit of information. Terry, Terry Reimer has extended his lead and they started the last lap. So all Terry Reimer has to do now is just keep moving up right. Riders now on their last lap. A run down on the top four. Terry Reimer, number seven, leads in second place and a little bit more distant now. Number five, Trevor Nation on the Norton. He'll be delighted with that because he confessed to me just how quickly Terry Reimer was going. He said he'll be a hard man to beat. He's really on form at the moment. This is third place for Roger Burnett. If he can just keep the very ambitious and very aggressive young Yorkshireman, Jamie Whitton, behind him. Jamie Whitton is riding better than I've seen him go in many a meeting. And he knows that ahead of him, he has a man who has ridden all over the world with the best in the world on the very best machinery. The Suzuki is storming on now. This is indeed a good performance by Roger Burnett. His 30 years and vast road racing experience paying off, but the Suzuki looking to be a bit of a handful. The race leader, Terry Reimer. And Terry coming into his final lap here. He's just coming up towards the flag, and what a comfortable win. The checkered flag out. Terry Reimer gets it. Ten points, consolidates his championship lead. Waiting now for the second place man to come over. He's not in sight. A look over the shoulder, but here he comes. Heads for the line, the Norton, a good second. Barry Simons, the team manager, will be delighted with that. Whitham's going to get third from Roger Burnett. There's nothing the Suzuki rider can do about it. Jamie Whitham brought the Honda home in third. And Roger Burnett, number nine, they know they've had an epic 12-lap duel. Delighted. But there's your winner, number seven, Terry Reimer. Terry Reimer really dominating that championship. He took the race win from Trevor Nation in second, Jamie Witham third, and Roger Burnett in fourth. And that means that Terry Reimer stretches his lead in the championship to 13 points over Brian Morrison, who could only manage sixth place today. And it looks like Reimer's 750 championship. Back at Thruxton a little bit later.